Sometimes I get lazy and I think that all mushroom mycelium looks the same. But if you look closer, you'll discover slight differences between the mycelium. It can be rhizomorphic, like this black pearl king oyster, or cottony, like these enoki mushrooms, wild chanterelles, or wild turkey tail. They each have unique characteristics, like this black morel mushroom that has a black tinge and extremely fast at growing or these oyster mushrooms that are highly adaptogenic lion's mane mushroom very filamentous compared to bear's head same family, but clearly different characteristics. So, as I make these observations, I wonder, are we doing the right thing by trying to force as many mushrooms onto the same substrate as possible? Oyster mushrooms are very adaptogenic. but maybe we could do better than a master's mix. Just some things that I think about when I'm going through my cultures. Alright guys, much love.